evening. This is Angie Gady with I Feel the Rush. Thank you for joining us this evening. And if it's your first time here, the mission of I Feel the Rush is to help you create home decor with things from your outdoor experiences. Basically, we wanna help you relive your outdoor experiences time and time again by surrounding yourself with beautiful home decor that's made of things from the outdoors. For us, you'll see a lot of antlers, feathers, hide, um, sticks like the walking sticks behind me, basically everything and anything that we can bring back from some of our experiences, we try to. So if you haven't been here before, thank you for joining me. And you can find us here usually every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central. And if I'm not live, I'm pre-recording and bringing it to you um, every week. So. Basically, what I like to do is bring to you guys different ideas, um, different things that I've been wanting to try. I like to share them because a lot of times there's just not a lot of uh, good explanation on how to try new projects. And really, it's just to get your creative juices flowing. So for me, I love to craft. I love the antlers, feathers, hides. I'm just always looking for great ways to utilize those things and also show you guys how super simple most of these things are. It just takes a little bit of time, few inexpensive materials, and you're off and running. So I've been bringing some new things to the table, but I've been so excited that you guys have also been sharing ideas. This last week, Judy Wood had asked me a few questions about antler frames. So I thought, hmm, that sounds interesting. And I've always wanted to do that. So I set out to find some examples to create a few examples for you guys. And um, we'll see what we come up with. So just so you know, I'm not actually doing all these projects this evening. I wanted to give you a couple examples of what I've created and also on how you can take it to the next level. So hopefully just with these little tips and tricks and some ideas, you will find yourself uh, making some antler frames at home as well. So I have a lot of stuff out here. So I know it looks a little bit messy, but I'm gonna explain what all of it is. And here we go. So every time we harvest a deer, whether it be a doe or a buck, if we're tanning the hide, I usually keep the scraps. Now, I don't always know what I'm gonna do with that, but that's what I've got is a bucket of scraps. And if you lay them flat, they're pretty, um, they're a little bit flexible. It just depends on, you know, what area it is. You can always moisten them to soften them if you need to. Um, but basically, this is what I have. Just a bunch of scrap pieces. I've got some bear pieces in here. Um, little bear pieces, some deer. Um, and a whole lot of things. Oh, I got a lot of random things in here <laughs> a lot of random stuff in there you just never know what you're going to need this stuff for so if you have space hold on to some of those little things and you can use them later in a craft like we do then i have a lot of antlers i got little antlers medium antlers i've got some bigger antlers um and i also have some uh, some elk and some some other things. So I just I brought a variety up here because I wasn't actually sure what I was gonna do. I have some some antlers that are in really good shape, and then I also have some that you know we find them and they're a little bit chewed up. But I still love to keep those because you never know how you're gonna how you're gonna make them into something. You never know when you're gonna need those little little additions. So I've got a variety of antlers. I have some screws. Now the screws, I'll explain as we get further along, are gonna vary depending on length for what you need for the project. Screws, hot glue gun, a drill. It's gonna come in handy, make sure it's charged up. Uh, scissors and last but not least, most everybody has some of these laying around old frames frames that you're just not using anymore for anything but you haven't been able to part with because as you can tell i don't part with much so i've had a stack of frames downstairs that i'm like this is the perfect project for these old frames that 